Welcome to Toy Polloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Polloi. Now if you collect Micronauts or Microman, a common problem you'll find is that uh, little bits of them will be broken and one very common area to be broken is the tiny little peg that holds the feet on. As you can see here I have a poor little Microman time traveller that's been in my repairs box for ages because I've managed to find all the other bits for him but one foot has the little peg on the bottom snapped off. If I remove the foot on the good side by just uh, carefully pulling off the little white foot bit, you can see there is a tiny little sort of bulbous peg end there and on the one that's broken it's snapped off. So today we're going to look at how to replace that tiny little uh, peg so that we can put the foot back on this Micronauts time traveller. So I have two time travellers in front of me. One has the peg missing and this one has a peg that has been glued on so that the foot is firmly glued in place. You can see that I can rotate this foot on the uh, right side and this one is glued in place. So we're going to fix both of these today and we're going to use the same uh, technique to fix them both uh, but this one I will have to break again before I can fix it. Now when I uh, do fixes like this I always to have a quick look in my Lego pot to see if there's a piece of Lego that will uh, provide a sort of good donor part. And as luck would have it, there is. And it's a very simple part to find. It's a part I've used in other restorations. And it is this long aerial. As you can see, this is a long bendy aerial. Uh, these are very easy to find. You can buy them very cheaply. I picked up uh, quite a load of these off eBay. And you'll notice at the end of the aerial, there's a tiny little ball and a fairly thin part of uh, these sort of plastic. And if I hold up an original Micronauts time traveller leg and hold them together, you'll notice that it's pretty much the same size. The only difference is that the time traveller has a flat surface on one side of the ball. So what we're going to have to do is modify this slightly and then somehow attach this to the time traveller. Now, these aerials come in multiple colours uh, and luckily, there is a clear yellow one which is fantastic because we can use that to uh, replace the sort of leg uh, missing part on the, this clear yellow time traveller. There is also a clear red one as well so if you have the orange time travellers that would do. Unfortunately there is no clear blue one and there is no clear white one so the closest colour match I can get is this light grey and really most of this fix is going to be hidden inside the shoe so I think the light grey should match also it should work reasonably well on that one. It's never going to be a perfect match but it will be hidden so that's as good as we're going to get but for the yellow one this is going to be perfect. So let's work out how we can do this. So I think actually the first thing I'm going to do is to break off this foot that has been glued on to this yellow time traveller. It looks like it's been super glued at some point. You can actually see there's little bits of glue left there. So I reckon if I just twist it it will probably crack and hopefully, ah, oh, there you go, it's just come off. And it has actually snapped in the same place as the uh, clear time traveler, because that is the weak point, and that is exactly what we need. So all I've got to do here is somehow get the old little bit of uh, yellow plastic out of there. Uh, and I would imagine that maybe even just pushing it with the ends of some plastic nippers, it will come out. Oh no, it's glued in quite firmly. I might have to drill that out, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. So we can really go ahead and try and work out what we can do on this. The way this is going to work is I'm going to drill a small hole into the end of the broken ankle peg. Now this is going to be quite a hard task because uh, uh, the unbroken bit there is about 2.5 millimetres and the small bit of uh, Lego that we have here is 2 millimetres. So we've only got half a millimetre clearance uh, which is a very small area to drill into. So what I want to do is to drill as a 1.5 millimetre hole first as a, as a sort of guide. So I've got two little drill bits here uh, and then I'll drill the bigger hole once I'm happy with the size of the first hole. Uh, and I really want to prep uh, the bottom part of this ankle first so that it is perfectly flat. So I've got a small file here. I'm just going to file this down just to get any of the sort of broken areas off uh, so that it is nice and smooth. So you should be able to see quite clearly that it is smooth because there are little sort of bits of plastic left on it. So that's quite smooth. I'll do the same on uh, the yellow time traveller. Now this has got a bit of glue on it as well so hopefully that will crack off as I uh, just file that down. And uh, we can end up with a relatively smooth surface. That doesn't look too bad on that one. Yeah, that's pretty good as well. So that's a good place to start. Now I'm going to use the point of a knife to gently mark a hole right in the centre of this uh, so that the drill bit has something just to sort of sit into when I get started. Uh, so I'm just going to make a small little mark there. Bang in the centre. 
again I'll do the same on both. I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Makes life easier. So this is just a sort of guide start point for the drill bit. There we go. And now for the really tricky bit. If you had a vice, it's probably easier to do this on there. I don't, so I'm going to do this by hand. And I'm quite practiced at this, so don't try and copy me. Uh, if you've never done this before, uh, use a vice or something like that. So I'm really going to run the drill quite slowly and then just gently drill a hole and into the bottom of the ankle. So you can see there a small hole and I've not only drilled up to the top of this sort of original ankle joint because that way everything is hidden. And I think I'm actually going to just do this 1.5 millimeter hole. I will trim down the plastic of the Lego to be slightly smaller. As you can see it's just a bit uh, thick there but I think it'd be easier to actually trim that with uh, a scalpel than try and drill a bigger hole because there really isn't that much plastic left on this ankle joint. Uh, so I'm going to get the other one uh, drilled out now which is this uh, yellow guy and then we can work out how to uh, convert this into a new ankle uh, socket. So let's get this one drilled as well. Now we can move on to actually making the new peg. So as I said at the start, you can see that that's this original uh, little peg here has a slightly flat side to it. Uh, I don't know if I can get that to actually focus on here. There we go. You can see there's a slightly flat side and the rest is round. So what we're going to do is uh, gently uh, trim off one side of the end of this little aerial. I've got a pair of plastic nippers here. It's a favorite tool for doing this sort of thing. I'm just going to carefully cut off one side. There we go. So that's now not a ball anymore. It's sort of slightly uh, flat on one side. I think that should match pretty closely to the uh, little ball joint there. It may be slightly bigger, so we may have to trim this down a little bit more, but I think that's a good starting point. I've now done both of these. Again, I'm working on two at once. There's the same any point in not doing that. And now we need to work out how long this little uh, peg needs to be. So obviously I've drilled into that side and I've drilled up to the sort of top of the original joint. So I'm just going to rest these two together. And from that, I can work out how much we need to cut off, which is going to be about pretty much that. So with these plastic cutters, they have a flat side, which is the side that cuts neater. So you turn these plastic nippers around and we are going to cut like that. There we go. So there is the new little end peg. But obviously this is a bit too fat. As I said, this is two millimeters and the hole that I drilled uh, is 1.5 millimeters. So I'm going to very carefully now again use the plastic nippers just to trim off a little bit of that uh, so that it is slightly smaller at one end and will fit in the hole that we've drilled. So uh, this is going to take a little while just because it's a bit fiddly, but I'm just going to carefully nip this down and uh, we'll get that looking the right shape. So with some careful nipping, you can see I've now cut that down small enough that it actually fits inside the little hole there. And I've made sure that these are both the same length by putting it in place as you can see, uh, this is not actually even glued in place at the moment. It's quite a nice tight fit. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of super glue onto the end of that and glue that in place. And you have to remember as well that the flat surface, it goes to the sort of inside leg. So I'm going to make sure that's rotated around and we have the flat surface on the inside leg there. Uh, and then once that's glued and dried, we can uh, put the feet back on that. And I'll get the uh, yellow uh, time traveler done exactly the same. If you've been watching my top tips series of videos, then you'll have seen me say the best way to glue small items is not to put the glue onto the item, but actually to drop the glue onto a bit of paper. We're using super glue here, so I'm just going to put a little drop of super glue onto the paper, like that, as you can see. Uh, and then I'm going to take the bit that I want to glue, which is this tiny little bit, 
and I'm going to then get the glue onto it by dipping it into uh, the bit that I've put on the paper rather than dropping the glue onto the item it's much easier to control so do check out my top tip videos uh, for more useful tips like that and then we can just push that in place you can see that that uh, looks pretty good and uh, we'll let that dry before putting the uh, foot on and checking that it actually fits and so here we have the yellow one again you can see that I've chopped this to uh, fit perfectly if I just push that in place you can see this is actually a really good match because the yellow it's a slightly more neon yellow but it does match pretty closely I'm really pleased with that so again just a little bit of glue dropped on the end of that and then we can push that in place making sure again that the flat surface is aimed to the inside leg Like so that's a good match so we just got to let that dry now I've given the glue plenty of time to dry and once it had dried fully I've done a little bit more sort of fine tuning on the size of the ball at the end the Lego piece is slightly more bulbous than the original one so I've just carefully trimmed that down as you can see so it's a little bit more of an accurate scale there I've also done the same on the yellow one you can see that's just a little bit thinner uh, and that's because uh, if it's too big uh, it won't fit in the socket on the foot and you're liable to snap it off again so let's try putting uh, the foot back on this uh, yellow one first so you can see the little uh, sort of coverall bit goes on and this was the one uh, that had the glued in bit uh, in it I've actually drilled that out now so we can just drop that on like so that fits pretty nicely you can see and you can still move it around so job done on that and uh, let's put the other one on which is the unbroken side so we can just drop that in place and again that one all rotates around so this guy is back to having two feet that move let's see what uh, the white uh, time traveler the clear one uh, looks like so again just drop on his sort of ankle guard put the shoe in place and again it all works and rotates and as uh, predicted you can't actually see any of that grey uh, from uh, the sort of standing position if you look from the bottom obviously you can see that that is grey so if that bothered you you probably could just add a little bit of paint to that just to make it sort of maybe a bit more whiter so it didn't stand out but uh, really I don't think that's too bad at all those look like perfectly good time travellers to me you can just about see the grey there in the bottom but on this guy uh, the yellow matches really nicely so let's stand these up and see if they work and there we go that's two time travelers back up and running the ankle fixes have worked really nicely these guys can either go on display or I think these ones will actually go in some vehicles that I have that are missing pilots but uh, the fix works really well it's fairly uh, sort of fiddly to do just because it's a lot of fine drilling and that drilling is probably the most awkward bit but if you've done these sorts of fixes before on other toys and a practice with drilling it's not so bad as if you've watched my channel a lot you'll see that I do a lot of this sort of fine drilling and with practice it does become quite easy so this uses a 1.5 millimeter drill bit to drill out uh, tiny holes in the bottom of the ankles and then we use the good old lego aerial to give a fix so i hope that's all been of interest to you and if you'd like to help out toy ploy then please check out my patreon page links and details of that will be in the description of this video and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos you can also follow toy ploy on twitter and facebook